Buti na lang walang tubig yung pool, no? Dali issue. Okay. So, pumambay dito. Let's go! <laughs> this ridiculously smart home and it's pre-selling. This one is in Antipolo. But first, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another presello open house tour. Maliwanag. <laughs> okay, so this is your facade. Very nice, modern, and neat. But again, as I mentioned earlier, it is pre-selling so, mga 90%, 95% done pa lang siya. So, yung front yard mo, hindi pa tapos. But it is nice to take note that you have a driveway entrance on either side. And both of them are smart electronic gates. And then here, dapat may pathway dito, papunta dun sa pedestrian gate. And then, you will be led to your driveway. Now, just to tapan ko na lang yung ano <laughs> plaka. Now, this isn't actually part of the house. Obviously, this is a car, not sponsored by the way. But it, since it's here, you have a hybrid BMW here that is currently charging. And I just wanted to point that out because straight from your driveway, you have an outlet that's capable of charging your smart or your hybrid vehicle. So if ever in the future you decide to buy maybe a Tesla that's fully electronic, you don't need to go to a charging. Uh, station, you can just charge your car right here in your car port, which can fit eight vehicles more or less, depending on what kind of vehicles you have. Okay, so on this side, although it's a little bit noisy because it's currently being used, we have a gen set. Now, there are two kinds of gen sets, and this one is the prime power kind. So, most generators can usually power your home for maybe a day, maybe two days. But this is the kind that can power this entire smart home for over a month. And this one is just working on 50% power, actually. So it's mga tipong genset na ginagamit sa hospital, sa mga office. So it's, it's top tier. <laughs> Obviously, you have more space over there. And then you'll have access to the side of the house, which we will not be able to go to because it's still being constructed. Total 10 car parks. Total 10 vehicles. So, yung nga, depende kung anong klase vehicles yung meron ka, but you can fit about 10 cars. Okay, so this is your main entrance. It's so, like, impressive in the sense that it's large. It's tall, it's wide, you have double doors, it's solid wood, you have very sleek handles, and then you have a digital door lock that's, you know, it's just very sleek. And then you have glass panels on either side just so you can see who is actually or out here, rather. Okay, so the moment you enter from your main entrance, you immediately see what the house is all about. You can see the center part of your property, you can see left, you can see to the right. It's, it's amazing. But from your main entrance, you have doors on either side. Hello. <laughs> So usually houses these days, because of the you know situation and all, merong mga 
temperature or mga alcohol, de ba? So this house also has one. Of course, this isn't necessarily part of the house itself. It's just nice to note that this is the kind that scans your face along with your temperature and it shows the results here on the TV. Parang yung mga nakikita niyo sa mga high-end malls. So if if this is an indication, then temperature check pa lang ganyan na. What more in bahay mismo? Okay, so from the main entrance, you have a door here and this one is your um, guest powder room. Ang ganda ng sink, no? And wait! Ah! Don't touch it! Papakita <laughs> ko lang. <laughs> Bubuksan na sana ni John eh. This is the light switch. And it's motion activated. So you don't have to touch it. You can just use the... Well, you can use this. Oh! See? There. Turn it off. Okay. So a lot of the light switches are like that. It's not light switch. It's high tech. Na. Across the powder, we're not going to go in here anymore, but this is a storage room. So nice and accessible from the main entrance. And then again, we'll circle back here to your foyer, to your receiving area where you can display art because you do have a solid wall here that's made out of stone tiles. Uh, not, not thin tiles, but like stone blocks. There we go, stone blocks. If you'll notice, this is the only part of this entire wall that's actually solid because the rest is glass. And, mind you, it looks so clean because you don't see any screens. We are high up in Antipolo. It's nice and cool. Ano mga lago? Temperature reaches 19 degrees Celsius at, in the morning. So, malamig talaga. Hmm? Early morning and night, exactly. Actually, there are heaters in so I'll show you later. And you actually do need a heater because it, re it gets really cold here. Okay, one last thing before we move on from this area. Don't you just love this lighting? It's so nice. Like, everything in this house is very modern. You have the wood, which is warm. You have the blacks, you have the concrete. But to add to that warmth, you have these parang Filipino touches. Not parang, it is Filipino touches. It, I, I just appreciate that they put it there. Loving the house so far? Well, good news for you. This one actually comes with in-house financing. For further details, simply contact us through our website. Links in the description below. Okay, here you have your living area. So obviously the whole place is open planned, right? So you can be sitting here and still be able to converse to whoever's sitting in the dining area and kitchen and so on. But what's important to note is that it's a massive scale. It's a huge sofa because you have a huge area. If you put a smaller sofa here, it's going to look inappropriate. Okay, so from here, from your living area, you have a door that will lead you to the den. Actually, this is counted as bedroom number one. But since the, this area wasn't used as a bedroom, it was used more like an entertainment area of sorts. So, pwede rin naman. That... <laughs> is the security system. So everything, all of the CCTVs, the perimeter cameras, security cameras, etc. You have a lot here, by the way. You have more than, I think closer to 30 na yata na cameras dito. So some of them are your regular CCTVs and some of them are tracking cameras that will enable the system to capture your face wherever you go in the property. So nabawa, nandito ako sa room na to, pumunta ako sa living area and the camera here somehow loses sight of me, the next camera is gonna track where I came from just to make sure that it knows where I am. And if it doesn't recognize me or if it's unusual activity, it is gonna alert the owner. So depending on what you set, mo, if you want it to be sent to your phone, etc. But yeah, that is the one beeping right now. And you can also see some of the um, property from that. Of course, the monitor is temporary. It's up to you what you want. If you want to hook it up with that one, no problem. But that server-looking thing is the security system. Okay, where was I? Right, this being the den and currently being used as a sort of entertainment hub and security hub. But really, it could be a bedroom because it has an ensuite toilet and bath. Mm, it smells so good. This is the eucalyptus. And I don't know if you know what this smells like, but it smells so nice. Okay, so we have here a sink. Again, a very uh, unique sink. The sinks in this house do not look the same. You have your water closet and then your partially enclosed shower space with your matte black fixtures. 
a big shampoo <laughs> and uh, well liquid dispensers. Mm, smells so good. Okay, so this room. I don't know how to that. Hello. <laughs> So this room also has sliding doors that will lead you out to your open area. Pero mamaya na tayo pumunta dyan. And then here... Oh! Hello! Buksan lang natin yon. Let the air in. Hopefully that didn't make too much noise sa mic. But yeah, if ever you decided na ayaw mong naka-aircon yung buong bahay, you can just open up all of the sliding doors. <laughs> all of the sliding doors to save some energy. Although, again, you do have a gen set. But again, if you wanted to save energy, hello, kit naman. <laughs> Anyways, there, there are animals. And so you have a sliding door there in the den or bedroom number one. You have one here. And then you have another one here in front of the dining area. Now, your dining area has this gorgeous, gorgeous dining table. And this is a chunk of acacia. Obviously, by its live edge, it's literally a cross-section portion of an acacia tree. Now you can sit seven in here, and then seven in the bench type, and then pwede rin naman kabisera. And then again, since you can have that open, it could be an indoor-outdoor thing where you can be, you can host a number of guests and have them sit by the poolside or the bar, which you will see in a bit. And in front of me, might as well, diba? Dito na in front of me, we have two tablets. Now, these are just two of the devices that you can use to access the smart home features because this is a very smart home, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So, which one should I use? Hold on. I guess it... Oh, it needs face ID. And it is not my face. Can I borrow your face? <laughs> no, okay. This house is included in spot.ph must-see spaces. So if you want to see more of this house, make sure you check the link in the description below. Okay, so I got it back. So obviously this is, this is a, an Apple product and this one is an Android. So either way, could have used it. Hindi nga lang tablets I think even your phones and even certain... But it's a desktop one, so we'll go... We'll, I can show you later on. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. Puro fingerprints. <laughs> so this shows you all of the things that you can access in your smart home. So apart from your temperature, all the cameras, etc. You do have a panic alarm button. So you do not want to press that unless it's an absolute emergency because everything is going to shut down. <laughs> you don't... And it's going to blare. So your neighbors are going to hear like several blocks away that something's going on in your house. And that is one button you don't want to accidentally push. Okay, that being said though, it's not just about security. Now that we're in the kitchen, you can also... Meron pala siyang pababa. Since it is a kitchen. Meron din siyang feature that's really adorable. So currently, hindi ako naka-sign in. But this has a tab there. It's grossy. So that one allows you to record your groceries. So Littell, when you do your groceries, you input whatever it is that you bought in here and then put it in your refrigerator, obviously. That way, wherever you are in the house or even outside of the house, you can see what's inside your refrigerator. And it's gonna notify you if something is about to spoil it. Hindi ako makalog in because I don't actually have an account. But yun, it's just a very smart, um, it's just a very smart way, digital way, of keeping track of what's inside your refrigerator. That way, nothing gets wasted. Hindi mo makalimutan na, ay, meron na pala akong ganitong ganyan na malapit na mag-expire. Tapos itatapon mo lang because you completely forgot about it. Your home system, your home is gonna remind you about it. Hey, you have some uh, cheese that needs to be used soon. Otherwise, it's gonna get expired, etc. Okay, so about food, we are again in the kitchen. We have a U-shaped layout. All of the major appliances that you see are included, including the crepe maker. Yes, let's count that as a major appliance, but it is included. You have a lot of storage, you have your built-in stove, your range, you have uh, oven, microwave, your sink, and then again, lots of storage underneath. So this area obviously can be used as a bar as well. So this part is higher, and then you have chairs on the other side. Oops. 
And then on this side, we have a door and this leads you to the service area as well as the staff quarters. So the security room, the driver's room, and the female staff quarters. But it's not yet finished, so we can't, or we're not going to go out there anymore. But that was in construction. But that's what's in there. Okay, so I'm just going to set this one aside. Because there are other access points good. Okay. So in here, technically it's a bungalow, no? But it doesn't feel that way because it's super high ceiling. And then you do have little, like you yeah, have three steps down. But again, it's still a bungalow. Then the moment you go down here, the first room that you will see is a theater. Oh, I love, love this theater. It's so professional looking. Like it's a legit high-end theater that's made to fit inside a home. Now, technically, this is bedroom number two. But for this particular purpose, they used it as a theater. Yeah, they repurpose the rooms, right? But again, if, if you don't want to do this, if you need it as a room, no problem. But if you wanted to see it as a theater, it's already here. So you have your leather couches, reclining sofas, there <laughs> spin machines. Because while you watch, you can exercise, why not? Air conditioning units. And then here you have a 4K ultra short throw projector. What that means is, you see the distance from here to the wall? It's very short, right? But it can project the entire wall in 4K. That is amazing. So you can connect your, you can watch movies, you can play games, obviously. And the entire room, actually the entire house has really, really, really good audio. But this particular room, since it is a theater room, includes these speakers and the whole audio system. Now these are optional though, but if you do decide to have these along with the house, magical. Oh, also, hold on. You have these lights along the room. So these are your, you know, your standard LED lights. You can easily like put these in your home, but these are connected to a certain hub and that's what makes it amazing so this is your object oriented lighting okay so that controls the lighting in the theater so whatever it is that you're watching the lights will go with it so for example you are watching a scene with thunder your lights are gonna act like thunder if you're watching something with lava perhaps then all of the lights will turn red so ganon ang galing so it makes the viewing experience here in the theater so much more immersive just because the lights are also playing along with whatever it is that you're watching then again, since I did mention that this is bedroom number two, you do have an ensuite, toilet, and bathroom. Oh, it's pretty. This is a towel rack, but it's really nice. Matte black towel rack to go with your industrial, but not quite. It's industrial, but it's warm. No? Maybe it's because of the accent wall, or maybe it's because of the sink, which again is unique to this toilet and bath. It has so much character. So your sink, your water closet, sorry, water closet, and then your shower space. All of the toilet and baths have their own awning windows and it's huge. So again, you can just open that up. You don't really need a ventilation, but you still have one in case you needed it. Don't mind the boxes on that side behind you, but that was still in construction. And again, you have the cool sensor switches. We should have that in our own homes. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, the moment you go out of the theater, which is, yeah, I know, jarring, super bright. Kita mo agad yung courtyard or the swimming pool area. So it lends to that very open layout of the entire house. Like anywhere you are in the house, you see the rest of the house. But it's still segmented. So, ang cool. Okay, now this is bedroom number three. It's the master bedroom. Obviously, you have a lot of space. You have a lot of things going on, a lot of things that you can fit in here. A full-sized sofa, a desk. This has a desktop, which again shows your home security system. So accessible then via the desktop. You have an accent wall that serves as, well, a gorgeous frame for your huge king-sized bed. And then across that, or at the foot of that, you have another couch and then your massive TV. Actually, if you wanted, you could probably even get a bigger TV since you do have 
another solid wall. One of two? Tama ba? Yeah! So, dito sa wall na to, uh, going out into the dining area, this is the only solid wall. So, this is the second solid wall that we've seen so far that actually faces or on, is on the side of the swimming pool. So, yun. Ito, kanina nakabukas din to and I could also see the security or the home security system. So, you can also access it from there. Okay, from here, you have another sliding door and this one will lead you to your backyard. Or at least part of it since you have a whole yard going on, right? And then you can go to the side towards the service area. Then. But again, we're not going to go out there anymore. And then here we have the ensuite, toilet and bath with a walkthrough closet. Now, if it looks dark, it's because everything is black. <laughs> So you have storage, 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 open, storage. And then here's the actual toilet and bath. You have shelves, a partially enclosed shower space. The bathroom here actually has frosted windows because they're huge. <laughs> and then you have the water closet and your his and hers sinks. Again, unique sinks. But this time match them to that. What about guy? Hey, hello. <laughs> Kita ba yan? <laughs> Demand si Marvin. Actually, we can go out here. Yeah, let's go out here. Why not? Okay, so from your master bedroom, you can again open another sliding door and it will lead you directly to your open area or your swimming pool area. So, check this out. This is the solid wall on your or from your master bedroom and this is the design accent. Is placed in here. So at night, it's gonna look really, really cool. Actually, everything about this house is cool, whether it's in the daytime or the nighttime. Thanks to the architecture, the design itself, and more importantly, well, not more importantly, just as importantly, <laughs> the lighting. And here we have a water feature that is not where you swim. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, sure, why not? But, <laughs> but no, <laughs> this is your swimming pool. So this is the jacuzzi. As you can see, you can sit uh, on three of the sides. And then it has an infinity pool going on, if you can imagine. So that you can actually see the swimming pool itself. So this is going to overflow to the rest of the swimming pool. And as you can tell, it's quite deep. It also has underwater lighting, of course. It's not on lighting, but since it's daytime, I don't think it's So yeah, And then it slopes, right? And then there, mas shallow. Meron na ano yun? Tawag dyan? Um, lounge. <laughs> May lounge chairs na and a table where you can put your uh, margaritas or something as you just bask in the sun. And then a few steps down, you're in the deep end of the pool. Na, blah, blah, blah. And then of course, speaking of margaritas, if you wanted to host a party, pag pwede na. You definitely, definitely can. You have seating here, seating over there, and then a bar over here. Mind you, this isn't the only bar in the house, but you have this here. Take note, another solid wall with some LED strips. Here, liquid nito yung main entrance or your foyer. Diba? They made use of that uh, solid wall talaga, both sides. Now, if you're wondering what these are, I certainly wondered. Apparently, I don't know enough. But at first, I thought they were lights. Because <laughs> they look like lights, right? But they are heaters. Because at night, this place tends to get really, really cold. So, if you want to entertain dito ng guests, and it tends to be quite chilly, you just turn on these heaters, and it's gonna radiate heat in this general area. So that you can continue... Si John nakatingin din sa ano. Sa mga heater. So you can continue serving your drinks, without getting chilly yourself. You also have some seating over there right next to bedroom number one or the den with a tapanyaki table in case you have a chef that you can invite to come over and uh, you know perform some live cooking for you. Unless you come to me, then by all means, please <laughs> entertain your guests. And speaking of guests, we are now about to enter the guest house. Again, sliding door. Once you go in, everything is glass still. Now, this one has a cozier vibe because of the lower ceiling, but it is not 
it, it's still higher than your standard so it's just relatively lower than the main house but i love that because again it has that more intimate vibe you have your dining area and then your kitchen which also has a bar area it kind of has that um hindi naman speak easy you know kasi medyo open eh but it has that feel kasi nga mas mababa yung ceiling of course the glass in here you can all you can open it all up to lead to the swimming pool and then this is the toilet and bath again with the sink the oh hmm. what was that <laughs> the sink the water closet and the shower space Nahulog yung marker. Bakit kaya? Also, if this looks familiar, it's because I think the master bedroom had a similar design, but it's still different. Kasi yung sa master bedroom yung load niya bronze. Ito black. So, little details. And then this part, obviously, ginawa nila indoor gym. Tapos yung sa labas, outdoor gym. And sa dulo, yung guest bedroom. So, it's nice and intimate. You have your bed frame here already. These are blackout curtains. Kung nakasara to, talagang pitch black. But then if you open it up, obviously, again, it's floor to ceiling glass. So it's nice and bright. And you have a view, a very clear view of the swimming pool. These are all fixed glass though. There are no sliding doors on this side of the guest house for safety reasons. Kasi katabi na niya swimming pool eh. Tsaka infinity, may pagka infinity pool effect yan eh. Wala siyang gutter. So, diretso tubig. <laughs> Another perspective of your guest house. Looking at it from here, though, yeah, it's a bungalow, but it's so expansive. Right? Imagine this being filled with family and friends again, because eventually, babalik na ulit tayo This is such a nice house to live in for that purpose. Actually, regardless, kung ayaw mo entertain ang tao, it's still a nice house to live in by yourself. Okay, let's uh, let's do a recap in the living area. I guess so. <laughs> okay, so you have a thousand one hundred fifty square meters of lot area, and then more or less seven hundred square meters of floor area. Again, it's a bungalow, meaning it's only one floor, but you do have several levels, a few steps here and there, just to make things interesting. Bagay terrain nya hindi flat, and everything is, or at least the inner walls, right? The inner walls of the property are all glass. That way, again, as I mentioned earlier. If you stood in one spot, kita mo yung bumbay, regardless of where you are. You have three bedrooms, each with an ensuite toilet and bath. If you were wondering, in case lang di man nanigit na binagit ko kanina, the rooms were repurposed, such as the entertainment room and the theater room, but they are bedrooms if you wanted to, if you wanted them to be. You have a separate guest house right next to your swimming pool and your jacuzzi. You have several bar areas in your kitchen near your pool in the guest house and uh, you have a guest pod room here near the entrance and a store room as well on the other side and you have a 10 vehicle car port and all of this is a smart home like everything about this house is smart from the security to the charging to your grocery your food the hat Everything you can control with your mobile devices, your laptop, your desktop, what have you. So if you or anyone you know is interested in a place like this, and again, this one is in Antipolo, in a very exclusive subdivision in Antipolo, send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, and you really, really should, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. 
And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.